Howdy folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Mr. Terrific Action Figure. This is figure number 3 from Wave 8, which contains the Giganta Collecta and Connect figure for the Wave. Now this Mr. Terrific figure set comes from a good friend, uh, Gerhawk. He knew uh, I had some holes to fill in my DC Universe Classics collection, and he was uh, very kind enough to be able to find and send this uh, figure set to me. So. I really do appreciate it, Gearhawk. Uh, hang loose there. And if you haven't done so by now, go ahead and take a look at his channel. And uh, do subscribe to him because he's a very a cool friend uh, and a very informative co collector. Uh, he's got lots of great videos. I think he's almost at 400, if not uh, already there. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at Mr. Terrific uh, in the package. You can see uh, this member of the JSA here, he's got the T-spheres uh, floating uh, around him, which is really, really cool on there. And he's got his uh, fair play uh, jacket, which is really nice. And uh, taking a look at the back of the package here, you can see the other figures uh, from Wave 8. Uh, we have Commander Steel, Dr. Fate, Mr. Terrific, Vigilante, Parademon, Gentleman Ghost and uh, Hawk Girl, and the uh, variants for this wave are uh, Doctor Fate. He comes with a uh, more gold-colored uh, costume, I guess the modern costume of Doctor Fate, and the Parademon, uh, which comes in uh, the green and yellow Kirby-inspired. Uh, actually, they're both Kirby <laughs> creations, but uh, they're actually so different that they're I don't consider them variants. Taking a look below, you can see uh, the biography and statistics uh, for Mr. Terrific, which is a uh, pretty interesting reading. And uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, this figure out of the package, and we'll be right back. All right, uh, we have Mr. Terrific out of the package, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the Collect and Connect piece first which is the uh, statuesque uh, right leg of Giganta. It is actually uh, a very uh, long and curvy here and if you stand it up uh, next to Mr. Terrific you can see that the leg is about as tall as Mr. Terrific himself. So uh, this is a very impressive uh, piece, uh, when, especially once you get the uh, all the pieces together to create Giganta. It's going to be uh, very impressive here. Uh, there's nothing on the leg other than this ankle uh, bracelet here, and it's pretty simple in design. I don't know if you can get in the focus there. And uh, there's a also a slight shade to the leg. Uh, you can barely see it. I don't think you can see it in the video itself, but just a darker shade of the f uh, color of the flesh here. And it's actually uh, pretty neat when you take a look at it. But this is the Collect and Connect piece that comes with Mr. Terrific, uh, the right leg of Giganta. Now, uh, taking a look at uh, Mr. Terrific himself, you can see uh, uh, him in his uh, fair play jacket and uh, the T-spheres, uh, which are very much like the, um, the skeets uh, for Booster Gold. Uh, they attach to the back and he had this little um, effect going on uh, where it, it, the uh, spheres are revolving around him. It's kind of neat. Uh, they have, instead of the gold trail of uh, from Skeets, uh, you have this uh, clear, uh, not very clear, some opaque uh, color, well non-color really on there. It's uh, very interesting. And of course they use the uh, the cape attachment uh, from the other figures that uh, have a cape. Uh, they, there's usually a peg hole here. And uh, that's one of my few complaints uh, with this particular uh, with this particular attachment is it interrupts the lettering of the, the terrific here. I uh, wish uh, either this uh, peg hole, well I guess you couldn't really move the peg hole because it was pretty standard for the DC Universe Classics. Maybe lower it just a little bit, uh, but then it'd look uh, inaccurate, but 
Uh, just unfortunate that it breaks up the lettering here. Uh, Would have been nice if it was uh, all uh, solid lettering. And uh, the same goes with the fair play. You can see uh, the the P here is right on the elbow joint, so it kind of disrupts uh, the lettering, especially when you bend the arm here. And not so much over here. So uh, it would have been nice if they had moved that just a little bit higher so you wouldn't have this disruption here on the letter P. But uh, other than that, it's it's a very nice figure. And I'm trying to remember where... I, I've seen this jacket uh, used before and I can't remember off the top of my head where I've seen it before. I'm trying to think of uh, other figures I have that have a similar jacket. Um, Oh, it might be the um, Animal uh, Man um, figure that I have on here. Uh, I have to take a look at it. It's somewhere in my closet. But anyways, uh, taking a look at the details on the uh, jacket of uh, Mr. Terrific is really quite nice. Um, it's kind of broken up here with the arm. Uh, that's mainly for the articulation. That's understandable. But looking at the detail, I was a little slight. Um, smudge there that's not too bad I can actually fix that later on but uh, the detail is very nice you got the zipper here uh, on both ends of the uh, jacket here it's very neat and detailed they even have the uh, button here on the collar and it's not just on the out outer collar it's also on the inside <laughs> it's very very nice that they added that on the on the inside it's very cool and uh, I like the head sculpt on here. It's very cool, very neat, and nice smooth hair. I like that. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, you got the internals of the uh, of his um, costume here. It's uh, actually nice and clean. Uh, no smudges, uh, no bleeds uh, from uh, the black and the white. It's very, um, very nice. Just these minor um, blemishes here in the white. Uh, but that's easily fixable, and it's a very bright white on there. Goes uh, very well in contrast with the black of his costume. It's very neat, and also on his uh, boots here, or on the on his feet, have nice clean lines on there. It's very nice. It's a simple design costume, and it just and they do uh, it's very well uh, d designed very well. You even have some of the creases there. It's very neat on the costume. I really like that. The uh, creases and folds is very cool. So, uh, but going over the articulation of Mr. Terrific here, his head does go all the way around, does go down very well, and even up a little bit, and even tilts side to the side. So that's very, very nice. I really like that. And I like the paint on his face. It's very uh, nice and clean as well. And the eyes. <laughs> it's really, really cool on the eyes. Uh, uh, continuing with the articulation, the arms go all the way around they do go out and in the bicep uh, goes all the way around the uh, elbows bend and the hands uh, rotate all the way around and both hands are closed fists on here uh, the torso uh, goes down up and just slightly to the back and that's because of the jacket here impedes a little bit on the articulation uh, the waist uh, goes all the way around, a little loose on mine, but that's not too loose on there. You got the standard uh, DC-UC uh, leg articulation at the hip joint here, so it goes up, down, to the back, and out to the side, and it's nice and uh, firm on the, uh, on the joints here. Uh, the legs uh, rotate all the way around at the thigh. Uh, bends at the knee and uh, bends at the uh, feet and uh, has uh, just a little bit of ankle pivot on there. Overall it's a very nice figure. A great addition uh, to my uh, G JSA uh, lineup of my figures. It's really really cool and uh, I have to thank uh, Gerhawk again uh, for uh, providing me this figure to fill uh, holes in my, the Wave 8 and my, my uh, JSA team. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again, Gerhawk. Hang loose there. And uh, this is my casual peek 
into the DC Universe Classics uh, Mr. Terrific Action Figure. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.